Good morning, Mavericks. This is your Meadowdown News Show. And this show is extra special for two reasons. Reason number one. This is the final news show of the year, the senior edition, and we will be graduating. Reason number two, we've come up with 12 points for you to take away throughout your high school experience. Our first point is you don't know what you're capable of. For example, we had a lot of people come into our class who weren't sure if they were able to produce a new show, and you know what? We did it. We've been providing this show for you every month. So just remember, you don't know what you're capable of, so just do whatever you can. Now let's cut to Nay and Ronnie in the field with points number two and three. Team break on three. One, two, three. three. Team, Team break. break. We all have been this poop. Which leads me to point number one, which is take a deep breath. Uh, maybe not in the bathroom, but you know, if you're ever feeling stressed, just take a deep breath, relax, step back. And point number two, but not number two, uh, <laughs> do what makes you happy. Forget the haters, forget the judges, do what you want. Just like some of these seniors are going to college to continue to make themselves happy. My name is Sun Hostello and I am the number of the opportunity college and study back at Arson. Also from the English classes and line and drama. Or drama. Hi, I'm Sushi Fox and I'm going to be here next week and I'm going to be talking. Uh, my name is Sun Hey, uh, I'm going to be here next week and I'll be talking about the second year and I'm going to be here next week. Hi there, I'm Kendall DeVries and I'm going to my So Renali, what do you plan on doing after high school? Well, God willing, I plan to go to Everett Community College and get my pharmacy tech and then transfer to UW. Yeah? Um, awesome, awesome. What about you? Well, uh, actually I'm going to University of British Columbia. Wow. Yeah, it's really exciting because I didn't think I would get in for the longest time. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Which actually brings me to point number four, which is that when people doubt you, it's because they doubt themselves. Yeah. Don't doubt yourself. <laughs> don't let them doubt you. That's a good point. I mean, you know, you don't have to follow. I mean, probably everyone goes to UW or, you know, Wazoo, but mm -hmm. you went out of, you know, the Washington area here, so, you know, which brings me to point number five, <laughs> be a leader, not a follower. So, don't feel shy or embarrassed about, like, being out of the box, you know? You know, speaking of leaders, we have some teachers, actually, that are leaving next year. So, let's go ahead and move on to the next piece, which is teacher goodbyes. The, the most thing I'm going to miss um, about Metadale is the diversity in all of our students and their artistic abilities. And of course, Arts Week is a really great week that we have here, and we've been doing it for, oh, I don't know, six years or so. This is my eighth year at Meadowdale, and um, I'm just going to miss all the students and the staff and the creative abilities that I see everywhere and every day. I am um, transferring schools. I live in Seattle and I got a job in Seattle. And it's a new challenge and a new change. I'm gonna be teaching elementary art next year full time in Seattle. I'm gonna try it for a couple years, see how it goes. And I'm super excited about it, but I'm also gonna miss teaching high school and I'm gonna miss 
Meadowdale High School for sure. I'm expecting a new challenge for sure, especially going from teaching high school for 10 years and now I'm going to be teaching elementary. Um, I'm expecting excitement, especially teaching little kids, and also I get to bike to work every day instead of driving up and down I-5 um, like I do every day for the last eight years. Um, and I also get to live and work in the city that I live in, in Seattle. Um, so I'm expecting a new challenge, but excitement in the arts no matter what. We would just like to take a moment to thank all the teachers for your help. We really appreciate it, and we're going to miss you next year. Now moving on to point six, make sure to live in the present, but also be mindful of the future. Point number seven, don't rush, just enjoy the ride. Point number eight, choose your friends wisely. Speaking about choosing your friends wisely, we prepared a piece for safety for the seniors who are going to be graduating and going off to college next year. Take it away, Grandma! Many of you are leaving home for college this coming fall, and we took some time to put together some safety tips for you. To start with, if someone attacks or advances onto you, a ranged self-defense object is best. Pepper spray is the most common piece used by men and women. A lipstick pepper spray or traditional one ounce pepper spray piece is best. Another choice in self-defense would be a taser gun. This is for a longer ranged attacker. This is an emergency light pole. If you need help, press it. These apps will help track your location if you are put into a dangerous situation and need help. You can download these apps in the App Store for free. Discuss with a friend about being at 2 a.m. This is a person that you can call no matter what in any situation. Thanks, Morgan and Alex. Those are some great points. Speaking of points, Angela, what's your point? What do you mean, Cassandra? What's your point? Uh, <laughs> well, Cassandra, my point, number nine, is you can't please everyone. As an individual over the past four years, I've learned that I like to make people happy, and I've realized that I can't make everybody happy, which is okay. I've learned to accept that. And with this show, we've learned as a class that you can't make everybody happy. We've had complaints about sound issues, about what we do our pieces on, and even though we try to make the show as best as we possibly can, it's not guaranteed we're gonna make 100% of our viewers happy all the time, which is fine. So, speaking of fine, I'm sure you got a fine point. Uh, yes, I do. Point number 10. I think you make the most of your education when you are kind and you're thoughtful and you pay attention to your surroundings. And just by the way, Mavericks, thank your teachers because they don't have to come in every day. Well, they do, because they're paid to come in, but not everybody gets an education. And you should remember that. Instead of complaining about going to school, remember that at least you're learning, right? Right, right? and it's important to learn. It's All always right. good to learn, right? Because right? your last name is right. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, speaking of right, this is, we're gonna end the show the right way by showing you our senior goodbye piece. What you're about to see is a couple of underclassmen, a couple of teachers, and a couple of seniors who are saying goodbye to the senior class of Meadowdale and also just this wonderful, wonderful learning institution. So without further ado, so you can't complain anymore about our show, which is actually not coming back next year, here is our final piece of our new show.
Here are our last two points. Point 11, finish strong. It's the only way to finish anything. Do you want to finish anything weak? No! No matter what friends you hung out with or what grades you had, we all have one thing in common. We're all graduating. Because why? We finished strong. Now it's time to, for point number 12, which is... Three, two, one. It's, it's up to you to decide! You decide what you take away from your high school experience. Well, Maz, that concludes our final show of the year. And our final show forever. Our show won't be coming back next year, and although some of you are rejoicing to have those monthly 15 minutes back to get your muffins, those won't be back either. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a good run, though. Yeah. We'd like to thank all our supporters and our haters for making this show possible. Last time signing off, I'm Senior Sarah Potts. Paul Hong. John. Senior Brian Schmitty. I'm Alexander Quist. Cassandra Wright. Ronnie Page, Lay Sacco, and Angela Nguyen. But we can't have our final show without an ultra-adamorphite dance party, can we? No! no!